Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics, along with special guest, Christina Hello Kitty Piper. So today we are hanging out at our favorite, one of our favorite places to have a cigar and just sit out on the patio, and that is Savannah Castle in London, Ontario. We just got back from... Uh, Fog and Brewery. Yep, where we had a good meal, and uh, how was your meal and how was your beer? It was excellent. I had the beef brisket sandwich with fries and the raspberry sour beers. Yeah, and I just had the bacon... Bacon bomb. It's like basically a burger, homemade burger that's wrapped in bacon. Yeah, it was very yummy. So we have had a full meal, which is a prerequisite for smoking a cigar like we are going to do today and review together. And that is the Southern Draw Jacob's Ladder Brimstone, which is supposed to be the heaviest or one of the heaviest and strongest cigars you can get right now. So I have had this a couple times before, but um, I'm still going to work on my cigar journal where I usually smoke a cigar for the first time and review it in a video format so I can share it with you guys. But I have smoked this a couple times, but every time I tried to do a review, it never turned out. So this time I'm going to smoke it and Christina is going to smoke it along with me and she'll give her take on what she thinks uh, she's getting from one of these super strong cigars. <laughs> So, okay, we'll be back in a little bit uh, to let you guys know how it goes. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I know you're all disappointed. Christina is not here right now. She wanted to go for a walk up the road. There's a place that she likes to go called Chick Boss Cakes, where they make cupcakes and really fancy cakes, things like that. But she'll be back for the, the last part of the review, I'm sure. And... Uh, so I didn't really talk much about the cigar in the beginning. It is a um, Lajero filled cigar. It's got, the wrapper is a Pennsylvania Broadleaf, which is one of my favorite um, cigar leaves. Some of you guys might know that. And then it's also uh, contains, I'm pretty sure, some Lajero Broadleaf, Pennsylvania Broadleaf as well. Uh, a lot of times cigars use the Connecticut Broadleaf, so Pennsylvania Broadleaf's a little less popular, but I really like it. It's got a nice earthy sweet taste to it and a good body. So this cigar, I've had uh, two before and I didn't find them that strong, so I was kind of surprised. But this one definitely lives up to its rep reputation. Right from the start, you just feel this heaviness. It's not really a heavy tobacco in the taste, but you can feel it in your body that, that this has got some strength to it. The tastes I'm getting, uh, this time around, before the, the other ones I had weren't as peppery as this. They, were, they had more of a, uh, a cocoa chocolatey taste, a little bit more sweetness and earth. This has definitely still got that earthy flavor, but it's got a little bit of everything. It's got the white pepper, tiny bit of black pepper, a little bit of cayenne heat or like a, a chili pepper that, um, heat that just lingers in the mouth, but it's not super strong. It's not, maybe not even like a, a, a Padron, a thousand series Padron, something like that. Less than that, I would say. The retro heel is strong, but not too strong. And you get a lot more of that white pepper. That retro hail is all white pepper, but not a super, not a super strong sting or anything. But it's definitely there. You can feel it. Um, not super complex. You're basically getting that, like a uh, dark uh, charred wood. Those pepper flavors, like I said, as well as maybe a little bit of earth, and maybe a tiny, tiny bit of uh, sweeter uh, cocoa or chocolate. So, um, construction's been fine so far. Um, the draw is excellent. And that's all I can say for now. So I'm gonna keep on smoking this down and uh, hopefully Christina will be back and she'll hey, give us uh, back again. She got her cupcakes. What, got my cupcakes. What did you get for cupcakes? Uh, so many types, six different types, like a watermelon, vanilla buttercream, chocolate peanut butter, maple bacon. Sounds interesting. Yeah, so from my favorite place in London called Chick Boss Cakes. And you're lucky, it's just like around the, like, yeah. a, a like two minute walk. Yeah, so wherever we're here, I try to go there too. Yeah, so okay, we'll finish off this review. And uh, yeah, this this stick is definitely 
lives up to its rep reputation of being one of the strongest out there. Um, not necessarily the strongest in overall flavor and punch, and even in body, but just the heftiness. Like there's lots of nicotine. I'm feeling it a little bit, and I had a big meal, so that's it's definitely so a very false cigar. <laughs> so what flavors do you remember getting? I was just from getting it? A, tons of black pepper. There's definitely pepper spice in, in this. I, I wouldn't say personally it's a pepper bomb, but it's almost, in my opinion, almost. It was a pepper bomb to me. So to somebody else, maybe. Uh, I think I'm just sort of like when you get used to a hot sauce or something, and it's not doesn't seem as hot. I think that's the way I am when it comes to spiciness in a cigar. So I might not taste it, but so the so the average person might find it. If, if you're sensitive to spice, would probably find it rather spicy or peppery. Um, everything else about it's been has been great. The flavors are still the same. I'm getting those like white pepper, a uh, little bit more black pepper. Um, same with that that roasty kind of wood, and also uh, maybe even a little bit of like a, a black coffee coming in here as well. And the sweetness ramped up for a little bit in the middle, and now the sweetness is disappearing again. So overall, uh, a great stick. Uh, if you really love the heavy stuff and uh, something different. As far as like it, it's kind of a boutique style of cigar, uh, definitely uh, check this one out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the the video, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, Aromatics and the Kitty Piper signing out.